People can get very creative when it comes to using household items in unconventional ways. Every month, Family Circle magazine prints some of the double duty ideas from its readers and staffers. Editor Margaret Ragland is here to show us some of the best. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. How are you I doing? I do love these segments. These, these are a lot of fun tips we have right. here. Okay, so it looks like you put beets in the ice cube tray. Is that what happened? This is, this is your leftover wine oh. from your latest dinner party that okay. you just had. All right. Didn't drink it all. Uh -huh. So pour a little bit of the wine into an ice cube tray right. for the rest of the bottle. Put sure. it in your freezer, okay. and you can use it in gravies, stir fries, sauces for a little extra flavor. Oh, so you freeze it. You mm -hmm. don't just like stick a cork in it or let it sit on the shelf. Right. You if you're not gonna, if you're not planning to drink it in the next mm -hmm. couple of days, so pour it into the ice cube tray. Mm. So is it sour? Did it go bad? Nope. What does it taste like? Wine. Have you tried it? You want to try? I'll do it. Okay. I guess it could be a summertime treat. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> but we really intend it for your sauces, your gravies, that type of thing. All right, very good. All right. And then when you're done with your wine, mm -hmm. you've got your empty wine bottles. This right. is perfect for so this So you're time supposed your to recycle. You could either recycle them or use them. This is a great use. Right. Your tall boots. It's right. hopefully the weather's nice now. Sure, we can sure. put away our, our boots for the winter. Uh -huh. Put this in your boot to help it retain its shape. Look at that. So, so you, you keep it in there all uh, summer and then pull it, it out. In, pull it out of uh, your boots in you the fall and winter. You put it in this way or the other way? The other way. The other way. Because right. you want to keep this. You want to keep this firm here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. We like that a lot. All right. Now, nice. what are we doing here? We have shoestrings. We have A necklace. Jewelry. When you get these knots, and I mean, women spend so much time trying to get the knots out of well, their necklaces. Well, my wife says, darling, can you take care of this? And it, I usually do. Right. And it works on shoelaces, too. A little bit of cornstarch. Right. Just put a little bit. You don't need this much. Just uh, sprinkle a little bit on. It yeah. helps loosen up the necklace. It really? helps loosen up oh, the knot, a, and it will come it's a, right out. It's a little slippery, yep. right? It makes it a little bit slippery and looser. It even works on pet fur. Your dog or cat, if you have some knots, just sprinkle them with a little bit of cornstarch. <laughs> okay. No, it just sounds funny to me. All right, now what is this? This is a great one for keeping, extending the life of your razor. You know yes. how expensive razors they are? They are. They're really expensive. So put them in a little bit of vodka. Not only does it disinfect it, it also retains the life of the razor. Yeah, but you can't guarantee then that when you're shaving, you're not going to just cut yourself mm. in a million ways because you... That's okay. You know. Then you're disinfecting the cut. <sighs> yeah, all right. Okay. Serious? It makes yes. the blade last longer? Yes. Why? Do you know why? Yes, because it, pre it prevents rusting. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, very good. Now what's next? Now this one is a little bit of aspirin. These sweat stains, we get, okay, we're all wearing white shirts yeah, now, white t-shirts. Right, you get right. these little yellow stains. Ter it's terrible. Right, and you don't Unsightly. want to throw out your shirt. Yeah. Right. So just put a couple of, um, break up a couple aspirin, uh -huh. add them to a half a cup of water. Okay. And just soak. Soak it. Soak. Mm -hmm. Oh, soak that part? Yep, just really soak just, there. Yeah. Just for a couple of hours, uh -huh. and then throw it in the laundry, your stains will be gone. Serious? Have you tried this? Yes, we've You've tried You've tried this at Family yes, Circle? Have, we have You're tried You're staking it. the reputation of the magazine That's on right. that we, right there? Yes, All right. sir. I do. All right, what's next? Now, Tabasco sauce. In my house, this is my husband's favorite. It's really but, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't really I don't really eat it. But yeah. I didn't know it has two other uses. Two. You've got a toothache, yeah. a little bit of Tabasco on a Q-tip, and put it on your tooth. I did not know that. You'll feel better. Right. It also works to... Clean silver? Yep. Serious? Get rid of your tarnished oh, silver. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We gotta, put we it have in to a little, try this. Put it in a little bit of warm water. Well, we warm don't want to put water. it in this water, but it should go in a little bit of warm water. And then rub it on your silver, either right, spoon. see if it works or not. See that? Look at that. It really works. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. All right, now what's, nice. what's down here? Okay, so you're out and about. You need to measure something. You mm -hmm. don't have a ruler. Right. A dollar bill is about six inches long. Is a about little, or? About. It's just about, just slightly <laughs> over six inches. All right, and but if, if you, you fold, fold it four times. times. It's exactly an inch and a half. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, and last but not least. Okay, back to the wine. Mm -hmm. So oh, you're opening you, your wine, right, you get some cork in there. Yeah. You still want to drink it. You don't want to drink it with those bits of cork. No. Pour it through a coffee filter. If you don't have a sieve. Mm -hmm. I'm and sorry. It's going to <laughs> don't to you have this in your house? But I guess maybe you don't. All right. So we'll show this. What's the yep. Elmer's glue for? Was there one more thing? Splinters. And that's great for kids who are active and yes, it's summertime. And they don't and like, and they're like, when they see the tweezers, they right. have just, you've got a splinter. I got put one a little right bit there. Pretend. Put a little bit of glue on it. Uh -huh. Let it dry up. 
comes river, right out. And the splinter will come right out. That's pretty good. These are pretty good. These are pretty good. Margaret, thank you very, very much. Thanks for you having can me. find more double duty tips on our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Now, here's Maggie.